Yeah, so over the next 24 hours, Colette Murrayan Square will be transformed into Pride Village. There'll be live music, there'll be singing, dancing. It's a family uh, run event. There'll be it's free tickets, so you don't need to uh, buy a ticket. You can just come on down. It'll be open between 12 and 7.30 tomorrow, and it's uh, open for anyone to come along. But the big main event, of course, is the march and the parade, which kicks off uh, from outside the GPO on O'Connell Street from 12 o'clock tomorrow. Now, Jed Dowling is the CEO of Dublin Pride. He joins us now. Jed, um, we've had a couple of years, obviously COVID, no parades, no marches. Uh, what will it mean to be back out on the streets of the capital tomorrow? It's hugely important for all of us. And I think for all communities, having visibility, being able to walk down the main street of your capital city, knowing that you're celebrated, that you're welcome, that you belong, that's really important and we haven't had that for the last two years so being able to get back out there and march is something that we're really looking forward to. We've seen a number of high profile homophobic attacks both in here uh, here in Dublin but also in other parts of the of the country as well so clearly you know it's important that you know people are out there celebrating who they are but there's still a long way to go in that journey for equality. Yes, and it's also important that our allies are out there supporting us. We know that Ireland is a very kind and tolerant country, uh, but we need to see that. We need to see that the support is there. Even in Ireland, where we've achieved an awful lot, we're still fighting for a lot. We don't have adequate trans health care. We have children of LGBT folk who don't have proper legal protection. We don't have hate crime legislation. We're looking for a ban on conversion therapy. Outside of Ireland, there are 71 countries where homosexuality is still illegal, 10 of them punishable by death. So there's a lot still to fight for, but we also have a lot to celebrate as a community. Perfect, Jed. Jed Dowling there, the CEO of Dublin Pride. Uh, the parade kicking off, the march kicking off at 12 o'clock tomorrow from the GPO. Uh, the Pride Village here in Merrion Square will be open from 12 until around 7.30 tomorrow evening. All they need now is for the sun to shine. All right, Paul, thank you very much for that.